Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. This is the sixth episode of the series, and it is a sponsored series as well, so keep that in mind. Uh, we made it into this dude's place. Now, for a big bad guy, he's got a giant teddy bear. I, I, I don't I don't really understand why he's got a giant teddy bear also if you have a living quarters like this I mean you've got a washer dryer here you've got like your own soda machine and a table it why would you keep it this cluttered I mean the concrete blocks aren't even lined up right that thing's not stable I I don't understand like a room you want your room to to be nice you want it to be feng shui you you want the chair to be facing the door so you're looking out of the door and uh, you want like windows in the room too and this guy he's like totally anti anti no i don't i don't follow feng shui but uh i did look it up on how to pronounce it feng shui see I'm doing it kind of right feng feng shui feng no feng shui so let's talk to him uh strangler bow how did you get in here turd nugget a large man, oh, he's got some weird face going on. A large man in his 50s stands waiting. His heavy tattooed arms held at a, in a fighter's stance. His bone structure is heavy. Corded muscles stands out in his arms and chest. In his youth, he must have been enormous. He's, he's still enormous. He doesn't talk much as he met a low rumble. I don't know how you got in here, but you've got my attention. Candygram, first... Strain <laughs> Strangler Bow, much love, kindly Chang. <laughs> That's awesome. I should do that just to like slap him in the face. You're funny. I don't do funny. Uh oh. So you have some sort of message from Chang. I can't wait to hear you mangle it. You speak Cantonese so well, he chuckles to himself. But before I hear it, I have a little message for her too. You tell kindly Chang that our operations are done in the walled city. Strangler Bow has given himself a promotion. And tell her that she needs to send that if she sends any more errand boys to visit him with another message, Strangler Bow is going to send him back to the box. You, think you can tell her that, errand boy. Should I write that down for you in English? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. just slot the stick. Listen to our message, and I'll be gone. Okay. I don't get to hear you butcher the message. I'm sad. That's that's true because the dyslexia is a little bit rough today. Now he grabs a small plastic drive from her hand, slots it into his tried player. Trid player? Kind of Chang stands erect, speaks directly into the camera. Mr. Bao, as everyone knows, you're a man of swift action. I respect that, and because of that respect, I will get right to the point. I know where your money is coming from. I know that you have friends working in straw sandals like myself. They have been siphoning funds from their organizations. I know about the noodle shop that you launder the money through. I have tasted their broth and found it wanting. The old woman becomes flinty hard. You have been stealing from me, from the Yellow Lotus, glorifying yourself with the revenue that we have earned. And I have files to prove it. Bao's eyes widen as files begin to flit across the screen. Receipts, bank reports, personal communications with himself and his men. Kindly Ching continues speaking, smooth and casual. Now in the, right of, in the light of our recent conflict, you might be wondering why I am keeping this information to myself. Why haven't I exposed you... So you could be dragged out from your lotus den by the balls and slowly rotisserie on a spit. Yikes. <laughs> that would be terrible. In truth, I respect your ambition, but have a lot to learn about candor and loyalty. But I believe that you still have value. I'm willing to work with you. However, in order for that to happen, we need to come to an understanding about the nature of our partnership. I own you, Bao. Wow. <laughs> that's not a partnership. That's, uh, that's indenturedness. You and all your men, you are my playthings, dolls to twist and poise as I see fit. I am in this position because I am better at this than you. And it's time that you learn that. Accept what I am telling you, that we can get back to our business, prosper together. But if you continue your little rebellion, I will mail tiny pieces of your children, of you to your children and take picture, take their picture as they open the package. Wow, it's real nice of her. You have 24 hours to return the fold. If you aren't here licking my heels by then, the information will be released and you'll become food for the fish. Your choice, Bao, 24 hours. Message winks out. Strangler Bao turns away from the screen slowly. His skin is ashen. Get out. He pauses, casts his eyes to the floor, and tells Miss Chang to expect me at Swift Winds tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. 
It was a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Bao. <laughs> we can still kill him. That's what that button's for. Nasty. Let's get out of here. Is that where we came in? So that, that goes to the rooftops. And this goes down. Okay, that makes sense, because we need to go down. Hmm. Yoink. Oh yeah, new yen for days. Now I need to get out of here. I kind of wish I could get into this room. I don't think I can. Let's check if I if I got a mission item or something. Door code, sim, sim fitting machine. Someone might pay you to take it off your hands. This guy take it? Sometimes when you're on a mission, you have to find the people that are going to take things. Or you kind of just mess it up. Nope. We'll come over here. I'd like to go into this room. I guess we can try it again. Enter a code. Uh, one, two, three, four. So what is it? There's four, so four times four times four, 64 times four, 256 different combinations. Is that how it works? I'll just cancel that, walk away. We could brute force it, but I didn't find anything. I don't think I found anything that tells me what it is. Crumpled note, mystery repairs, sparking wires, broken water shutoff valve, lower level, burning tires past market. So, we're in the lower level now. To the rooftops, return to... There's gotta be something in here we need to fix. Hmm, Yellow Lotus Enforcer. Oh, this is the dude who busted up the other guy. Yellow Lotus Enforcer glares at you. You can see the outline of the old man's cred stick in his pocket. He flexes and muscles bulge. What do you want? Step away, right now. Thought I'd re relieve you of your burden of currency. Cred stick, please. <laughs> I've got a better idea. I think I'll take your money instead. He licks his lips. Give me your cred sticks. Or you'll get what the old man got. Not, not paying around. Shaking down a shadow runner isn't a good idea, sweetheart. Give me the old man's cred stick before I put a hole where your head is. <laughs> he comes up short, frowning. His eyes <laughs> shift from you to Duncan. It's the assault rifle on Duncan's back. I owe... <sighs> There's nothing this old stick anyway. Tosses the cheap stick to your back. Balance in the old screen reads 63 cents. Hard to mess up the date on a sim sense check chip. Got a date in an hour. Okay. Yeah, get out. Oh, we got some karma for that sweetness. I'll take a little bit of XP all day long. It's always good. Okay, I think this is the thing we need to fix here. Should be. Yes, wrench off the shutoff controls. Clean water runs into the streets. Fixing the place up. Okay, what else do we need to do? Uh, okay, this one. What were the other? Okay, broken water shot off. Trinket man. Past market. I don't remember the sparking wires. It's probably upstairs though. Is there anything over here? It doesn't look like it. So let's go back. Uh, do I want to go up here? Or do I want to... Or where was that? Up there? Or the other one? This is where we came in, I think. Let's go to this one. Where does that take us? Hey, oi. No, we want to go into the walled city. We want to fix up the walled city first. Turns off the, the burning tires. Okay, got to talk to the old man here. Give him the cred stick. Here you go, man. I got this back for you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, uh, I don't have anything to reward you, but I appreciate what you did. You're welcome, brother. We're all in this together. Okay, inspect. Pour a bucket of sand onto the flames. Good. I want to talk to him again. Maybe something, will, some other thing will pop up. Thank you so much. This is everything I have in the world. I really feel like someone will talk to me here. Little kid, you can't even walk over there and the kid's over there. 
Okay. They're running. That's the old man. Not gonna go in there. They don't even know I was down in the hole. Maybe there was something. This is where the dead guy was. Sort of dead guy. There's another teddy bear. They like their teddy bears here, don't they? I've got two of your things done, lady. I can't get over to that one. Oh, that's... Oh, wait. What, what am I supposed to be doing now? Mission notes. Trinket man. Trinket man. Maybe she'll tell us. No, I'm still working on it. Hmm. I understand. If you'd tell me where the trinket man was, this is probably the trinket man right here. That's not even a man. I can start up a, a gunfight anytime if I wanted to. Trinket man. Doing all the things that a trinket man can. I'm gonna have to find this. Shoot, we just ran all the way through this place and I don't see a trinket man. Now you guys are probably screaming at me like, Blitz, he's right back there, you dummy, you passed him. I know I did, I didn't see him though. It's not that guy. It's probably the trinket man over here. Okay. Uh, the street vendor gestures toward a jumble pile of tarnished chains, custom jewelry, and trinkets on a stained flannel blanket. Look at these beauties. Very valuable. Very pretty. How can you stand this place? You mean home? Vendor softens. Become visible. My experience. You can get used to anything, regardless of how horrible it is. It just becomes normal after a while. But this place is getting worse, no question about it. Last 20, 30 years, it's been nothing but downhill. Nothing goes right here. Maybe you can change that, though, by buying something, yeah? Ever hear of prosperity? No. That's something someone would say around here. That's not something someone would say. Ooh. I don't, I don't want to buy anything, because I don't have spirit summoning. It's kind of cool. Walk away. Okay. Intelligence. Patch up the worn-up wire. All right, we did we did that. Ooh, more karma! Yay! Let's go talk to this lady again, so she can get out of town. Bloodied woman. Is it done? It's done. Thank you, thank you so much. You unrolling signs with relief. She opens the flap of her satchel, reaches inside, and produces a plastic sheath. I'm not magically active, so I can't see the flow of chi in the area. But I've got test strips. Little sheets of paper embedded in chi-sensitive bacteria. It's close related to a fab, but it doesn't see much outside of Hong Kong. She pulls a strip and sheath and holds it in the air. Within seconds, the ink turns black. I've been making adjustments for a week, trying to collect chi to circulate better, and nothing seems to work. If anything, this one went bad faster than the control strips when I got here. Any idea why? No, it should work. I follow the text, done everything right. Chi here is rancid, that's obvious, but I swear. It's even worse than it should be. No wonder the place is so disgusting. I get what you mean. That's it, I'm getting out of here. In a little while, gotta tell my advisor about this. Thanks for the help. Hope you won't... Don't stay long. I sure won't. Okay, do I have any other side quests here? Don't kill any yellow lotus. Duncan and Gobbit must survive. I think we successfully did that. So one thing that's really nice is the last... Where are we? Where are we going? Where's our exit? Down here? Yeah. The last uh, Shadowrun games has kind of been like... There is isn't not been any any way to really go in and and passively do stuff like we did. It's all like run and gun, shoot and kabang. So, returning. Good. Who holds up his hand for everyone to stop? Turns the two of you and hooks his thumbs on his belt. Well... That was a thing. Never thought I'd be shutting, shuttling messages between criminals and Hong Kong syndicate. I can't imagine what Raymond would have wanted in the Wall City. Just place feels wrong. No kidding, there's something off about it. This place just makes you feel like your life has no value. Like there's no point to anything. 
Great life you have here, Runner. I can't believe it. We actually delivered the old lady's message without anyone dying. I've had enough triads. Let's get out of this pit. I'm with you, gun show. I don't need to see this place ever again. Gun show, seriously? That's not going to stick. Let's return to Hanoi. Hanoi. Am I pronouncing Hanoi right? I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, hard city. Great. Oh, tentacles? I already read this, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. It's hard to shake off the walled city. Its gravity clings to you as wretchedness itself is grown tentacles. The sounds of suffering subtle, but their echoes still thrum your insides. Gobbit walks slowly, head down and both hands on her stomach, whispering a conversation to someone or something that only she can see. Her rats are silent, remain hidden in her clothing. Wu pauses a moment and breathes a sigh of relief when you finally reach the streets. Retur but returning to Heioi isn't like coming home. Suspicious looks and closed mouths accent unsmiling faces that billboard an unveiled message. You don't belong here. It's time to report back to Kindly Chang and inform her of the message that's been delivered. Get this business over with. Get your sin burned and go on to the next step, whatever that is. You leave the city of darkness behind. Head to Mahjong Parlor and a date with the crime lord. Very awesome. So we did it. I'm actually surprised that we didn't have to kill anyone. We did kill the hellhounds, though, which is good. Oh, six karma. Yes. Inspect the floor. Large X. Okay. What happened to our buddies? There's something over there, too. The parlor. We did it. Where I'm supposed to go? Oh, there he is. Ha ha! Kindly Chang watches you closely as you walk across the Mahjong parlor. As you approach, her lieutenant leans in, brings her mouth close, and tries boss ear. Chang smiles and nods, her eyes never leaving you. There's a twinkle in Straw Sandal's eye. I've heard from Bao. He got my message very clearly, and I understand that there are no casualties created during your little delivery room. I am pleased and surprised. You gave simple instructions. It would have taken an idiot to mess it up. A wry grin. You'd be surprised how many idiots I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Must be a federal employee. My message was delivered, and Strangler Bow is back in the fold, earning for me. As far as I'm concerned, a transaction is complete. While you were gone, I set the wheels in a motion to wipe your identities. She pulls her out a PDA, stabs a button with a lacquered fingernail. The order has been sent. Congratulations. You are now sinless, shadow people. Aha! <laughs> Woo, exhales heavily. This dude's, like, really attached to his identity. Oh, he's missing his glasses now, too, isn't he? His eyes remain focused straight ahead, but his shoulders sag. Well, I guess that's done. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so, but I'm not. He pulls himself up to the full height. Whoever gave the kill order on Carter also forced us to give up our identities and took Raymond. That's all I can think about, finding who did this, finding Ray. While I was working to get your sins burned, I also had my network look into Raymond Black's disappearance. I've been thinking about what you told me earlier, and I agree. She has room carefully as she leans in. And I just can't let this lie. Someone killed my runners. It would be a sign of weakness to the Yellow Lotus and others if I, if I do nothing. She rests her PDA on the Mahjong table facing you. Triad Voss's tongue slips from her mouth as she looks over the top, hunting for the right button on its upside-down interface. She finds it and looks up at you again. I have news to share with you, my darlings. The kind you won't like. Raymond Black is dead. She taps a button where the recorded newscast appears on screen. Raymond's photograph appears on the screen behind a reporter standing in the docks in Victoria Harbor. It's a picture you've seen before. A professional portrait taken for press release about a young youth center he was opening in the Redmond Barrens. Under Raymond's photo are the words, Seattle Man Killed. Another shooting involving the police department, a Seattle community organizer, an industrial engineer who was apparently shot and killed while resisting arrest at Victoria Harbor last night. Police force report that the UCAS man, Raymond Back, was behaving erratically and would not respond to police orders to surrender. No additional information regarding Black or why he was traveling to Hong Kong are available. Police have stated that due to the shooting's proximity to the last night's shootout with the White Star, the investigation must remain confidential so no other details are being revealed at this time. Kindly Chang taps the button again and the video closes. This just keeps getting worse. You're right, Auntie. That was news I did not like. 
Raymond's dead. Who puts his hand over his mouth trying to process the information. He sways for a moment. It looks as if he's going to pass out. Isabel reaches out and touches Wu. Thinks better of it and pulls back her hand. Sorry for your loss. Never had a father, so I don't know what it's like to lose one. But, sorry. Hmm. Raymond dies the same night we're ambushed? That's no coincidence. No way. Kindly Chang, I'm afraid that's not all, my darlings. This is security footage from Victoria Harbor last night. You'll find it contains a contradiction. Ooh. PDA shows silent, grainy video footage of Raymond sitting in the tea shop, flanked by two guards. He looked down at something in his hand, completely distracted. So this is the footage of the intro in the first video. A little cutscene there. The footage contains a camera displays of several blackhead figures entering the field of view different angles. Guns ready. A tall, sharply dressed man in a suit walks briskly towards Raymond, flanked by two more. Raymond stands to face him. The camera gets a clear view of the suit's face. White plastic. He guards... The guards turn to draw weapons, and muzzle flashes erupt from all sides. One of Raymond's guards goes down, and his machine gun fires wildly, hitting the camera. Wu puts his hands on the table and leans in. Those were cops, and Raymond wasn't resisting arrest. What's with that guy's face? Is that a, a mask? It doesn't look like a mask. It looks like some sort of semi-rigid plastic implant. Real craftsmanship. She pushes out her lower lip in appreciation. Quite a fashion accessory. Also the kind of fashion accessory that stands out in a crowd. Either this guy's a fool or an arrogant jerk. He sets his jaw for him. Either way, I'm going to find him. Kindly Chang watches Wu intensely. I believe you. He lends back and turns to you, says. What now? We stay in the shadows. We don't. We're dead too. We find Plastic Face Man and drag him somewhere private. Make him dig his own hole and then we fill it. We need to find him and then get some answers. With what resources? Her eyes sparkle. I'm afraid there are some facts you're going to have to face. You are not alone in this country. No, you are alone. No money, no identity. I can protect you from the police. But how would you go about discovering what happened to Raymond without me? How would you survive? This is a topic that requires serious consideration. You've had a very long night, my sweets. Very long. As she wipes her hand across the stack of tiles, spreading the ivory-colored pieces across the table. And frankly, you look terrible. Rest now. I promise you safety in my town for the night. And we'll talk about the plastic face man tomorrow. Ladies, go find our new friends a place to bed down. That rat's nest squat boat you call home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she really does not like those ladies. We'll talk about it after you sleep. We'll figure out our next steps together. Yes, auntie. Yes, auntie. Thank you for your help, auntie. Of course, my sweet. Kindly Chang smiles. Back button. Eyes flash cold. What are friends for? Ha ha! We made friends. Yay. Get some sleep. Oh, we're gonna have a dream. Aren't we? Okay, we actually have to go to that spot. I want to go... That's where we're supposed to go in. I want to go see if I can get those implants. No. Maxim Law. That's a new dude. Can you get recruited? That'd be awesome if you could. Bins of electronics crowd... Every dry patch of every dry patch of deck space in this rusty old boat. A young man wearing bulky virtual reality goggles. Oh, he's got Oculus up. Glances your way for a moment, then turns away to disdain. I'd like to look at your tech. He doesn't even look at you. Shop's clothes get lost. Jerkface McGee over here. Too busy looking at his uh, video games on the old Oculus Rift machine. So that's the tunnels. This is the thing I want to go to right here. Use intercom. Find me loot. Oh, he told me to go away. So I guess we don't want loot. I guess we go to bed. Because there's nothing else I can do right now. That I know of. And we're going to get a dream. And we'll see what happens. We'll probably have some small dialogue in here. Is that bullet hole? Bolt hole. What's that say? The original name has been sloppily painted over with black paint. Newer but somewhat weathered characters have been painted on the strokes. Uh, in bold brush strokes that read bolt hole. Okay. Must be where we sleep. Safe boat. Got it. You two can bunk here for a while. She nods with her nose towards the hatch. Heads over there for you to take care of your necessities. It may look communal. I'll try to knock before you enter. Seriously, I know the drill. Who turns to you? 
stinks of fish, just like the place we squatted at in Leary Avenue back when we were kids. What with that Aslan family and their dog. You hated that dog. He kept digging out my food stash, no matter where I hid it. He'd find it and scarf down a week's worth of grub. He wipes his nose with glowed hand. Still, it was sad. What happened to him and the family? No one should go out that way. He stretches. His spine pops like a handful of firecrackers. I think I've been something like 36 hours straight. Wow, it's a long time. It's been one terrible day. Time to end it. Orc turns to you, raises an eyebrow. Anything you need before I leave you to it? Is it just you and Isabel leaving here? Okay, so this is like time to like go into deep game, like the uh, the character development. So this is like when we talk to the two, Isabel and uh, Gobbit here. Is it just you two living here? Yeah. Now that Nightjar and Gunshot are gone. Gutshot. It's just us. Squeal of the metal grinding on the metal rips through the boat. It sounds like it's coming to level below. And that creepy Russia guy renting out an engine room downstairs. Nothing to worry about. He mostly keeps to himself. Checks his PDA. And he'll stop soon. He's usually quiet by now. Is there a place for my stuff? Yeah, check in the locker over there. You can stash your stuff in it. But no one will touch your things in there. It's a lot bigger than it looks. <laughs> it's a... It's a endless hole. How did you get your hands on this place? How do people like us get our hands on anything? We found it. You found it empty? He sweeps his eyes across the cabin, doubt in his plane on his face. Someone abandoned this prime piece of real estate like this. Close enough, it was full of BTL junkies when he came across it. They were completely wigged out on some multiplayer cyber game. Not sure they ever chipped out of it. Wow. They were completely emancipated, uh, stewing in piles of their own poo. Their eyes sunk into their skulls. Pretty gruesome stuff. They racked up a killer score, though. True. They had the moves. Should have hung an IV while they were playing, though. Turns out nutrition is important. What happened? Did they die? Nightjar ran him out. Not sure what happened to them after that. Anyway, it's ours now. Auntie Chang said so. But the engine room. All but the engine room. Uh oh I accidentally double-clicked. Something made him mad. She shrugs. Whatever. We weren't using it. As long as the downstairs neighbor keeps to himself. He can have the lower level. Especially if he keeps Auntie Chang happy. I think I'll have a look around. Okay, get some sleep soon. You look like you could use it. We'll go see you kindly in the morning. Figure out everything in our next mood. There's like nothing to actually look around at. Guess we can go this way. That's the upstairs. There's my stash. Okay, I don't really have anything in my stash. We'll confirm that, get out of here. I guess we can go into this room. Knock, knock, we're coming in. Oh, Duncan. More character development. Hey Blitz, I got some things to take care of. Let's talk later. Nope. No character development. Stairs. Go to the second floor. Isabel. She's got a cool room. That's a cool room for a decker. Come back later, Blitz. I'm busy. You... Of course you are. Everybody's busy up in here. Gobbit, you're gonna be busy too, aren't you? Hey Seattle. Not really in the mood to hang out right now. Heavy stuff going on, you know. I'll be fine. For time being. Rather be alone. We'll talk this through later. Okay. Well, I guess... Uh, can I save it right now? I wonder if I can. If I can save it right now, we're done with the episode. I can. So that'll do it, guys. Thank you for watching this one. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, we're going to get back into it. We're going to see what happens next time. Game's really picking up. I'm loving it. So, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>